she faced a lot of questions when she was to come to this country uh, regarding her disease and how to go about the treatment and what to know, what not to know and there are so many questions which come up. So this is a very simple discussion that we are going to have uh, today with her and um, uh, I think this is uh, going to be very interesting. So uh, what was the first and the foremost you know, difficulty or I, sh I should say the most important question that was hanging on your mind about uh, your disease? So how did you detect it? I just felt a lump. You, you found a lump in your breast? Yes. And then it was, you suspected that it can be some, something, something else? Wrong. Something wrong. Yes. So you were diagnosed in uh, Kenya? I was diagnosed in Kenya. And then what did you do? Then I just decided to come to India. You decided to come to India? Yes. For further treatment. So what was the major question that, you know, was hanging on your mind that what, what should be, what, what is it about? First question was about the staging. About the staging of the, the disease. Staging of the disease, because I really wanted to know what stage that I was in. Okay. And that is what so, it really meant. What is the treatment? Mm -hmm. uh, so simply put, uh, you know, that breast cancer is one of the most common cancers that affects most uh, most of the communities uh, worldwide. So it's one of the most common cancers that we see across the globe. Uh, it's not, nothing new and I think the way to detect it early is a self-breast examination. If every female does a self-breast examination once in a month uh, during the time of menses, uh, that is right at the time of your menstrual cycles is over, if you do a self-breast examination, just take three fingers and three minutes do a self breast examination on both the sides. You can detect lumps which are hard. Usually the breast cancer lumps are very hard. They are painless and they are hard. And sometimes they can be associated with some puckering of the skin where the skin is detected inside or the dimpling of the skin of the breast. Or sometimes uh, the inversion of the uh, nipple areola complex or sometimes there is a discharge of blood through the nipple, uh, things like that. Yeah, there it can also be associated sometimes with some lumps in the uh, axilla also. And normally, uh, the, there is a clinical staging of the breast cancer. When you feel the lump, you feel the size of the breast lump and you feel for the uh, lymph nodes in your armpit. And uh, that is how we stage. So generally the stage one is whenever the breast cancer is less than 2 centimeters in size. Uh, stage 2 is when it increases from 2 to 5 centimeters or becomes associated with any a lymph node in the axilla. When it grows beyond 5 centimeters, it becomes stage 3 or when the lymph nodes in the axilla become very fixed and very big, uh, then it becomes stage 3 and stage 4 is generally when it spreads to other parts of the body. Which of course uh, we cannot know uh, by uh, naked examination, by naked eyes. We generally do a CT scan or a PET CT scan to see if it has gone to other parts of the body like bones. Generally speaking, the breast cancer can spread to bones it can spread to the lungs, it can spread to um, the liver and sometimes even the brain. So these are the most common sites where it can spread. So we generally do a whole body screening and tell you about uh, the state of the disease. Uh, Monica, I'll also like to reiterate over here that, you know, uh, generally people who come from even our own country or from anywhere, they are generally more bothered about the stage of the cancer. But that's not the only thing. Breast cancer has got many subtypes also. Right. Broadly speaking, there are four subtypes of the breast cancer. Uh, simply put, we all know that breast is a tissue uh, which is dependent on the female hormones. So when the female uh, catches up with puberty, the breast starts enlarging. Then with every menstrual cycles, the breast enlarge and they become softer. During the end of the menses, they become a bit tender. And during the baby birth, the milking starts. So everything you know, happens because of hormones in the body. And these hormones are generally produced through the ovaries, which is uh, from where you produce the eggs. So uh, generally, uh, these hormones uh, are responsible for the development of the breast. Similarly, these hormones may also be dependent, uh, may, may also be the cause of cancer in the breast, right? So uh, sometimes the breast cancer, almost in 50 to 70% of the times, the breast cancer is uh, dependent on hormones also. They have receptors of hormones which can uh, and these hormones can cause the breast cancer also to grow. Right? So generally speaking uh, when we divide, subdivide breast cancer there are four subtypes of breast cancer 
uh, the, the, we, we call it luminal A, we call it luminal B, when it is uh, positive for the hormone receptors. Generally these tumors are slow tumors, they don't spread very fast, they are slow tumors and they can be treated with hormone therapy also, sometimes they require chemotherapy also. Then comes uh, triple negative, that means they are negative for all the three receptors of hormone as well as an, another receptor which is called as HER2, HER2 receptor. And uh, so these triple negative breast cancers are very aggressive cancers, they generally spread very fast. And the last and uh, is uh, what we call as HER2 positive breast cancer. HER2 is an oncogene, it's an oncogene, onco means cancer gene which when is uh, upregulated or is in, increased in the breast cancer cells which <coughs> generally in about 20 to 25 percent of breast cancer cells the gene is uh, upregulated. Upregulated means it is overexpressed, right? Whenever the HER2 gene is overexpressed at that time the cancer uh, gets an aggressive behavior. It can multiply very fast. I think Monica had a HER2 positive breast cancer. So um, about 10 or maybe 15 years back, we could not do anything much about uh, these HER2 positive breast cancers. But now we have got a, a drug which actually targets that particular gene and can actually downregulate that gene so that the aggressive behavior becomes nullified. Okay, so that drug is generally given along with chemotherapy to patients who have HER2 positive uh, breast cancer, which is, as I said, is a cancer gene.